conflicts, the frustrations, the stressors that these kinds of folks bring in your life have everything to do with them having to work some things out with God. And so today we're going to find out what happens when Jonah comes in your life. What happens when you allow Jonah to take up residence in your space? Jonah represents that thing that's not in the will of God. Why you're worried about Jonah? God's already factored that in, and God's created a space of grace for Jonah not to die, but to be worked on. And so God puts Jonah in the belly of the whale. Belly of the fish is a place of darkness. It's where seaweed is around his neck. All in chapter two, Jonah is wrestling with God. See, God has cut him off. He can't get a signal, so he's not on Facebook now. Because he's in the belly of the fish. You can't call him. He can't get a signal on his phone because he's not ready yet. Verse 9 of chapter 2 says, and Jonah said, I'll pay my vows. I'll do what you told me to do. And it was then that the fish vomited Jonah up. But do you know where the fish vomited Jonah up? On dry ground. Which meant God's grace was so amazing that when you had the courage to let Jonah go, God caught him, worked with him, and then vomited him up back on the sea, but put him on the solid mountain. And chapter 3, verse 1 says, And the word of the Lord came unto Jonah a second time. Jonah got a second chance because you threw him off your ship. You still alive, still afloat because you obeyed God. Get your copy today by visiting the Mount Zion Bookstore after each service or visit our online bookstore at mountzionnashville.org.